Hey guys, Josh here from Mixing Mango and I'm back from holiday. So for any new subs, this is actually a joint channel and while I was away, Michael was doing all the videos and now he's gone away so it's my turn to do all of the videos. Um, when he gets back, we'll then go back to the normal sort of alternating videos and uh, the occasional dual commentary as well. But for now, it will just be me on the channel. So today's video is about divination and it's just release date impressions and tips for this new skill so before i get into it i just quickly want to say something uh, i want to try and put a bit more production effort into the videos so uh, this is the one i've started uh just to try and make the videos a bit more informative because um we want to do just like weekly update videos so like on the day of release we can show you the update and now that we have like we are fairly high leveled now like in terms of bossing um, we're max combat so pretty much any boss update we can do but also our skills uh, we're definitely getting up there so like the majority of content we can do on release day and um, in terms of quests like I've done Ritual of the Marjorat so I can do like the majority of new quests that are going to come out so like we do really want to do um, these kind of like impression videos on release day and also like sort of a week after the update just like a general review of it so uh, we are trying to like up the production quality and just make the videos a bit just better as a whole and more informative and um, hopefully you can make the guides even better as well okay so now on to divination itself it was released today and as of all new skills it's one of the biggest updates that they can do to the game because skills are a core element of runescape and just any like this isn't a normal update a new skill is a really big really big event for the game really so a couple of things about divination it is like the majority of the skills in the game it is a 1 to 99 skill um, it's slightly different in terms of XP because you get you unlock new tiers every 10 levels and each tier gives you higher XP um, the rewards incorporate a variety of skills so to make the rewards let's say for fishing you actually have to use fish for mining you have to use ores that kind of thing there are both AFK and inter interactive aspects uh, to divination so you can sort of relax at some parts but you also will have to sort of engage with the game a bit more in others also in terms of XP rate we haven't like I haven't been able to properly test it I don't think anyone has a like a proper um, like no one really knows the XP rate is but apparently it's slower than fishing and I've heard it's around 40k an hour that's not completely confirmed but it is quite a slow skill I will say that and you can train for money or XP or a bit of both so now for the basics of divination uh, what the skill is about is you, cyph you siphon wisps for memories and energy and then you convert these memories to energy or XP and you can also use the energy to make rewards. Um, every 10 levels, like I said earlier, you move up a tier and you want to do the top tier that you can to maximise the XP and each tier is 10% faster than the last so it's obviously best to do your highest tier. And there's also something called one tick um, training so this is the most efficient way to train divination and I will show a bit of that um, in this video but it is essentially just you gain XP every tick because the normal way is you gain XP every few ticks so it's obviously a lot faster this might be a glitch so it could be patched in the future but I do like the idea of if you want to AFK it, you can just do the normal way and gain XP every few ticks. But if you really want to concentrate and interact with the game, um, you can do one tick and then you get more XP, but you are interacting. So I hope they do keep this, but I think it probably is a glitch. So we'll see if that gets patched in the future. So this clip is how to basically start off the skill. What you want to do is teleport to Draenor with Lodestone, then just run south. Um, it's like in between Draenor and Lumbridge, uh, that is where the main camp is and this is where you're going to start training divination. So um, in this camp there's people you can talk to and they'll kind of guide you through the beginning steps of sort of what to do. As you can see here this is um, like the springs and the wisps and that kind of thing. Uh, you can talk to like Orla Fairweather, uh, she's like the main person. 
and there's other people around and also there's this map which shows you um, the different spots where you can train divination because it's not the whole area you can train it is just certain spots on the game map so this is where you want to start off and this is where you'll begin training divination so at the moment I am level 32 in divination I think in the video I'm actually slightly lower than that but I'm showing me training it here this is the fourth tier I'm on at the moment because at level 30 you unlock the next tier um, so I'm actually showing the one tick training to begin with uh, at one point I do show the uh, like just the normal method of kind of AFKing it but I've got to say I really do like this skill I'm not sure if it's just kind of like a sort of a new it's a new skill so it's just kind of it's going to be enjoyable at the beginning but then it's going to get kind of boring after a while I'm not quite sure yet because I know some people are kind of bored of it already which is kind of worrying because you know it's a new skill it's the first day you should kind of be excited about it but to be fair it is a gathering skill they can't make it too amazing to be quite honest um that is the only problem um with the gathering skill so i do quite enjoy it though and later on um i'm going to show some um the rewards you can get i'm going to go through them quickly and also just uh the price check because you can actually trade some items uh the energy you get is tradable and so uh i think all of the rewards but if not all the majority of the rewards are tradable but you can't trade them on the grand exchange so you have to just trade them player by player um, I'm not sure if this is going to be changed in the future, if you can use the Granite Exchange in the future, but for now um, it's not possible to do that. So in terms of the skill, um, I just do find it quite fun for some reason, I'm not sure why, but I do enjoy the skill, um, which like I said, some people aren't enjoying it, but there's just something about it that is making it fun for me. I think it is just the kind of like... It's kind of a different method of training because it involves both AFK and interactive gameplay. It's like um, when you're converting memories to energy or XP, it is very AFK. You could pretty much like leave the computer for a minute while it does that. Um, but while you're collecting like the wisps, um, they disappear fairly quickly, so that's a bit more interactive. And especially if you're doing one tick training, then it is very interactive. Um, so I do quite like that kind of idea. Also, just in general it's kind of different because the XP isn't really coming from actually like getting these memories it's what you do afterwards so you do get some XP um, from actually like collecting these memories but what you then do is you go to convert them and you can either convert them into energy which is then used to make the resources or can be sold so that's kind of like trading divination to make money if you want to convert it to energy there's also the ability to convert it to just straight XP, uh, which is kind of like the average way to train it, I guess you could say. Um, that sort of like just sort of average XP and maybe a bit of money on the side because you do get energy through getting memories as well. So you can just sell those energies that you have. Um, and then there's the final option, which is you it's the pure XP gaining method so um, you convert both memories and energy to XP and this is the fastest method um, to level up so I do like the idea that you can choose how you do it it's like um, you do have to sacrifice one thing you can't really do both money like the fastest method and also make a lot of money it's either you've got to make money or you're going to do it fast so um, I do like that also the good thing is um, some of the rewards or oh, I think most of them they require if they're like if they're based on another skill they require an item from that skill so like uh, one of the new items needs crayfish um, it's a low level item I'm guessing the higher ones will require like higher fish or logs or ores that kind of thing um, but it basically just creates an item sink and in the long run that should make skilling a bit more profitable because if there's less items in the game um, it means the prices will rise and so skilling will be a bit better I mean it does it doesn't mean that some items will become more expensive to buy um, but I think it is good that stuff is becoming more profitable 
and the only bad thing I can see about divination at the moment is it is just a bit too slow. I think it is slower than fishing, or it's supposed to be, and I've heard it's 40k an hour. I'm not sure where I heard that, so I'm not quite sure um, if that is reliable, but it is quite slow. I think, um, well, we don't really know about the higher levels yet. It might get like exponentially faster, but I think it should max at about 60k, probably, because it shouldn't be some super fast skill, but I think like 40k is a bit much especially like if you're at level 90 40k i mean that would make it slower than agility i think that would make it the slowest skill in the game um to be honest so i do think it should be a bit faster uh, but we'll see what they do with that i think hopefully they do take player feedback on it and can sort of adjust the xp rates a bit anything else that the community finds that uh, they'd like to be changed with it because i mean um, it should be a like the skill should be fairly player driven to be honest, just so they can tweak it, uh, make it like as best as it can be. Because like I don't think many J mods like will actually go for ninety nine. It's the players that are gonna like, grind out the skills. So they will kind of like know, um, yeah, they will kind of know like what's best for it and what should be tweaked. Um, but that is basically all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you appreciate like the. <laughs> Uh, more information and time it took to make this video and I definitely want to do more videos like this uh, maybe not every video but especially like these update ones I definitely want them to have um, just like more information should be a bit more higher quality and that goes for the same with guides I'm going to try and uh, we're going to try and make them even better than they are currently but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later